Hey guys, it's me, Plasma Sims, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a speed edit. Um, I went ahead and made this sim in Cass, and uh, I thought she turned out really um, pretty and, and beautiful, actually. So I uh, just wanted to enhance her beauty in uh, a little speed edit. So before I get into how I do it, today I'm actually going to talk about how I did it because <laughs> I think I've posted two other speed edits on my on my channel and I I didn't I don't think I explained my process um, and I've had a few people ask about my process or like how I go about editing and making them look the way they do so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and kind of explain um, but again before I do that there's some things I wanted to talk about um, number one being that I haven't posted in like ages <laughs> And I want to say sorry for that. I am sorry for kind of just vanishing. Um, but at the same time, I think something kind of happened. Um, so I went on vacation. Um, nothing like dramatic or major happened. Um, I just, I went on vacation and it was great. Um, I told you guys about it on Twitter that I was going to be gone for a little bit. And, um, for a week, my vacation was a week long, like, no big deal. Um, it was great, I had a nice break from work, and just life, and it was wonderful. So, I just wanted to kind of take a moment to explain what happened after. So, I got back from vacation, and essentially, my drive to make sims videos or anything just videos in general to be honest i it was gone <laughs> i had no motivation to do anything post anything and it was weird like because i've had a, a consistent drive um even the times where like i would disappear before i would i would still post something but um for for now or even even right now actually like as i'm doing this video i just my drive for sims videos is not here and that kind of sucks because i'm actually really proud of my channel and just how far it's come because i've never had a channel reach over 450 subscribers before and whatever and i mean it's not necessarily about the numbers or anything i just i'm just proud of what I what I have here um, and it kind of sucks that it happened after like been doing like I've been doing this for a year so it sucks that this happened now where I just kind of the drive just dropped um, but I didn't want to force myself to do something that I didn't want to do either and it's not that I don't like the game anymore or anything like that I do I still love the game I still love the sims um, but even just playing it I just don't have the drive and it's it's just weird <laughs> and it sucks and maybe it's just a phase right now um I don't know I uh I think it's a phase I'm 99% sure it's a phase because this has happened before to me um but this time it just feels very real and very much so that I just don't I just I feel it like I I feel the lack of motivation, the lack of initiative and enthusiasm about it. So I just wanted to kind of explain, I guess, and let you know the kind of like hump that I'm going through right now. And yeah, I just wanted to be honest. So that's that. Um, so instead of doing a Sims video, um, I went ahead and did an edit, so I hope you're enjoying the edit so far. Um, I've done two of these in the past before, I think. Um, I think one of them I called, like, how I edit my thumbnails, but I didn't actually explain how I went about editing. Um, so I'm gonna kind of elaborate in this video. Um, so I'm gonna list it off. It's essentially just five steps when it comes to editing. So step number one is I, um, well, first I have to prepare the image. So when I have my 
lovely screenshot. I go ahead and open it up in, I use Paint Tool Sci. So this isn't even like step one, actually. This is like for step one. Um, I use Paint Tool Sci. This is like the, the, the program that I use. It's what I'm comfortable with. You can use Photoshop or whatever. Just anything that uses layers is totally fine. Um, and I go ahead, open up the image. I remove my cast background from the image by just entirely erasing it. Um, and I go from there. So I just have my plain sim against just no background, just white. So step one is I draw and line everything, which you are probably seeing on the screen right now. Um, that takes, it's the most time consuming part. It takes the longest. Um, but it actually has a great payoff in the end because it adds this almost like a cartoony dimension, but it's not even cartoony. Like she still looks really nice at the end of it. So at least in my opinion, <laughs> um, I get to enhance the details of her face, like her nose, her lips, her eyes, especially. I love to just draw on some extra lashes and such just to kind of enhance, uh, like I said, her features. So that's um, that. Uh, that's step one. Step two is I add some shading and highlight, which um, I'm not sure if you're seeing that yet in the video, but um, if you are, cool. Um, I'm filming this after the fact, so sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I add some shading and highlight. I basically just take a purple, uh, dark purple shade, um, and I go ahead and literally just start... Um, going over areas that I know would be shadow if light was hitting her like head on or even from the side, depending on how I would be looking at it. Um, just where I feel is necessary for sh like shadows and shading. Um, and uh, yeah, so I go ahead and do that. I always do it on, I do everything on a new layer. I never work on top of directly of the image because I don't want to ruin that, right? So um, I just work on top. Um, and this is probably a really bad tutorial, so this is going to be geared to more geared more towards the people that know uh, what they're doing in Photoshop and like Paint Tool Sci or whatever the case. Um, so sorry about that, but yeah, I'm not I'm not a techie. <laughs> um, so that's what I do. So I add some shading, and sometimes I add some highlight. I don't think I added a lot of highlights here, um, but again, I'll do that separate from the shading layer. Um, then I go ahead and I adjust the hue and saturation of the image overall, well mainly of the sim. Um, I play with the opacity of the lines, I play with um, just the the sim's image uh, colors herself, so I'll go ahead and just shift it around. Not necessarily the hue when it comes to that, but I'll increase the contrast, I'll increase the brightness, just so she has this more vibrant glow instead of just like a basic <laughs> glow, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So that's that. And then the um, fifth step is I just add in some details. So I'll go in and um, if I didn't, I'll add some pupil uh, highlights or lights. So basically just the white dot in the eyes, um, some overall shading around the sim. Um, if I add it in a background, I'll kind of choose a specific spot for like a light or something like that. Just really getting in there and um, just touching up everything and refining everything. Um, and the way I kind of do my light is I'll go ahead and just take like the airbrush tool, put it at a very light, either like yellowy orange or just white and go to the very uh, corner of the image, uh, click a bunch so that it builds up and then I'll stretch it or play with it as you will see how I do in uh, this video. Um, so yeah, sorry for the very horrible tutorial, um, but I just wanted to walk you through it. And sorry for the life update that you probably didn't ask for. So um, that's that. I just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around. If you're still here, that's amazing. Comment below if you still enjoy my content, let me know, because um, at this point in the game, I'm not really sure <laughs> if um, you guys still enjoy it or not. And I'm not trying to sound negative, but it's the truth. So um, yeah, and um, yeah, just thank you overall for, for being here and watching my videos. 
Um, and yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video, which I don't know when that will be, but um, we'll find out together. <laughs> uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.